Hey folks, making something today I haven't made in a long time. Beef jerky. One of my coworkers was asking me if I knew where I could, where she could get uh, ghost pepper beef jerky, and I said, "Real, really don't know." But I told her I have this frog bone bone reaper. This is the Carolina Reaper hot sauce that uh, is made by Frog Bone. So I said, I'll "Tell you what, I'll make you some Carolina Reaper beef jerky," and uh, got everything together here and. I'm gonna prepare this and then tomorrow I'm gonna use my uh, Nesco dehydrator to uh, actually make the jerky. So what I have here is I have two thirds of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, two thirds of a cup of soy sauce, two teaspoons of onion powder, a teaspoon of liquid smoke. This is Wright's brand. I love Wright's. And I got a tablespoon of honey. Honey is really important in beef jerky because it keeps the, the beef pli pli pliable, nice and soft, so it's not hard. Let's go ahead and add that tablespoon of honey. Gives it a nice sweetness too. Kind of counterbalance the, uh, the Carolina Reaper sauce. And here I have two tablespoons of the Carolina Reaper sauce from, hot, uh, from Fog Bone, called the Bone Reaper. So I'm just gonna whisk this up really good. And now here I have two and a half pounds of eye round roast. That's one of my, that's my favorite for making beef jerky because it's really lean and it's long and I like to slice with the grain so that it's lengthwise. Um, here's a video of how I actually cut this up. Okay, so let's get this into this Ziploc bag because this is going to go in the refrigerator overnight. I highly recommend this gadget here. I'll put a link in the description box where you can get this. It holds the Ziploc bags open for you. It's so cool. I really, I, I use these things all the time. Okay, let's just pour a marinade in. Mmm, this smells awesome. Now I did roll down the Ziploc bag so I don't get any, there we go, any uh, contamination or whatever on the, uh, the actual zip, Ziploc. So now I'm just going to force out all the air and just kind of toss this around. Actually, I'm going to put this right back on the plate because it's in the Ziploc bag now. And I'm going to refrigerate this overnight and then I'll uh, put it on the dehydrator and stay tuned. The meat has been marinating overnight in the refrigerator 
and I've periodically turned it over and kind of massaged it in a little bit and uh, I've actually taken the beef and drained off the excess moisture, the excess marinade. So now I'm going to get the, the uh, dehydrator set. So the first thing you want to do is place this tray on the bottom. So that will actually collect any, any marinade that might drip down. Otherwise you might, you'll make a, a mess down here. It's just a lot easier to clean if you, if you place that there. So let's take our first tray, place it on the dehydrator, and we'll start adding our beef. Now you'll want to space, space it out so that you have good airflow across the beef. Don't crowd it. You got four trays here. Make sure none of it is touching. This small piece will fit right there. Okay, that tray is full. On to the ne next tray. And then they're locked into place. Now, the, the really nice thing, I've been using this dehydrator. This is the Nesco American uh, Harvest Garden Master. I've been using this thing for years and it is just absolutely fantastic. I love the way it operates. Uh, what it does is it actually blows the hot air up the sides and then across the food to this central vent that comes out the top. And it, it evenly distributes the dry air, because you're not cooking, you're dehydrating. It evenly distributes the dry air across all of the surfaces. You can actually stack these 39 trays high and actually and still achieve really good dehydration across all of them. It comes standard with the four trays. So let me get this go complete and then I'll be right back and then we'll get this started. I ended up using all four trays and uh, I've spread out, I actually redistributed some of the ones on the bottom that was a little bit, uh, there was more jerky down or more beef down there so I've evened it out and uh, the thing with this particular uh, dehydrator is if you don't use all the trays, if you have an empty tray, you still need to use at least four trays. So you would put the empty tray on the bottom because it, it really helps with the, the flow of the, the distribution of the dry air. So I've got all four of these trays filled with jerky. So now I'm just gonna add the top. Notice it's got the whole on top so it vents. It all comes through the center. Just sets it on like that. And for jerky, you wanna use 145 is the, the temperature, it's 145 Fahrenheit. Turn it on. And I'm, this will take four to five hours. After four hours, I'm gonna come back and check on it. I'll probably end up having to go the full five hours, but we'll see after four, so please stay tuned. It's been four hours. I've checked on the jerky and I believe it's actually ready. So let's give it a shot. Oh yeah. It smells incredible. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. This jerky is ready. Normally it would take five hours, but I think it was because it's so hot out here, it, it only took four hours. Yeah. 
there you have it. Beef jerky. Let's give it a taste. Okay. I'm hoping this is not going to be too spicy. Yeah, that's beef jerky. So I'm going to try the small piece. Mmm. There's the heat. This is perfect. That is really good beef jerky. I gotta say, folks. Well, there you have it. Oh, the, the heat's starting to come now. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Okay, there is beef jerky made with the uh, frog bone uh, Carolina Reaper, the bone reaper sauce. If you like it spicy, definitely check out the bone reaper from uh, frog bone. There you have it, folks.